and welcome to the daily scopes, 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 scopes for the 10th of August. So remember, I'm uploading the weekly scopes across all platforms now. So you, if you want to know like uh, what's happening day to day, check out the weekly scopes on these daily scopes. Now I'm just dealing with aspects such as quintuplets and why quintiles and stuff like that. As so I slowly phase out these daily scopes and just stick to the weekly scopes. So yeah, I'm just kind of saying goodbye, as I said, to those who are, have been used to these. Um, so yeah, on the 10th of August, we've got the Sun making the Queen Quartz to Saturn, Mars makes a parallel to Jupiter, Venus makes a bi-quintile to Pluto, and the Moon enters Libra. So if you want to know more about the Moon in Libra, also check out the separate audio in the playlist as well. So the Sun, Queen Quartz to Saturn, um, it kind of can bring tension to us especially in the areas of our sense of self in terms of our sense of power self-empowerment and authority and our self-expression but this kind of like inner conflict that can happen is kind of like a push from the universe for us to focus on our personal growth and self-awareness wanting us to confront our limitations and overcome our obstacles and just reassess our goals look at them with more of a critical eye and in terms of the best use of the sun's queen quartz to saturn it's good for self-reflection and it can sort of like help us make more conscious efforts to change our approach to our daily problems especially in our relationships and within us expressing our authority and accepting authority in healthy ways and asserting our boundaries and respecting other people's boundaries without you know being too egotistical and if we don't use that sort of ego that sort of putting ourselves out there asserting ourselves why questioning yourself what sort of fears do you have about stepping into your own sense of power and empowerment and if you feel they are relationships or any other obstacles to your self-expression you know just trying to you know again figure them out and a lot of the time um our sense of um, lack of power comes from maybe losing it in a toxic relationship or something related to our childhood or early teenage years or adulthood and stuff like that so just really figuring out how you can step more into your own sense of authority and how you can also respect other people's authority as well while also asserting your own authority and boundaries as well and just using self-awareness to sort of like um, look at your goals and confront your life challenges. Venus's by Quintile to Pluto allows us to transform our relationships, especially the relationship um, with our own self. So it's good for personal development work, you know, the work that Saturn's Queen Quartz to Saturn's asking us to do. And um, while Venus is by quintile to Pluto, which sort of energies with Venus may intensify our internal emotions and desires. It also opens us up to, you know, having deeper connections with ourselves and others and expressing ourselves creatively and also using our creativity to, you know, sort of like um, release our emotions and psychological pain and spiritual trauma right now as well. Um, so just see, like, um, the sun's queen quartz to Saturn as a test of our inner strength and resilience as it challenges us to align our actions with our highest spiritual principles of our inner values a lot of the time we conform we try to fit in we don't want to stand out we don't want to feel judged so we can kind of like assimilate other people's um lifestyles while suppressing our authentic selves so this energy challenges us to you know be ourselves despite external obstacles and making time for our spiritual or um, philosophical or whatever practice you do you know a, a hobby or something that you feel you need to do to be stable but what you don't do because maybe you try to please others and stuff like that venus is by a quintile to pluto wants us to dig deep into the hidden aspects of our psyche of our subconscious of ourselves and um 
sort of like deal with those conflicts between our ego and our responsibilities and you know wanting us to be ourselves and also taking accountability of how we show up in the world as well we can also you know have creative breakthroughs and experience intense romantic love and um, with ourselves or others right now it allows us to dig deep into our vulnerabilities and embrace our shadow selves our weaknesses and use them um, as positive in positive ways because a lot of the time our weaknesses are only weaknesses because we run away from them or we don't find figure out a way and we've all got different ways to channel our weaknesses into activities so for for, for some of us you know we may be a bit aggressive so doing a you know a sport you know may be good for some of your weights you know if you feel that you're too aggressive and you may break the rules of competitive sports that are, have physical contact like boxing and stuff so working with your own temperament finding out your own limitations and not judging yourself um, you know maybe if you are overly aggressive that you couldn't trust yourself to compete in um, you know competitive sports um, and that you may just have to do weights or something else that allows you to let the aggression out on your own yeah it's not ideal but it's better than taking out that you know your aggression and someone else knowing that you've got this um you know energy inside of you you know so you know knowing your weaknesses doesn't make you weak doesn't make you a bad person you know and we've all got our demons so to speak you know so just be real gentle with yourself use your self-awareness and care and love and forgiveness as well and just allowing yourself to just feel loved and nurtured and heard by yourself so content career can talk about how we can overcome our challenges, embrace flexibility, find the balance between self-expression and responsibility and how we can you know make room for our creative expression and projects um, even if we've got busy um, schedules and stuff and how we can keep on going over our obstacles and you know build resilience and courage and use our willpower to overcome our limitations also talking about how we can bring more love into our lives and into our relationships how we can handle our emotions as well and how we can be more authentic so yeah that's the daily scope 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 for the 10th of august